Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. So before you actually watch the video, I wanted to interrupt and let you know that I apologize that this video, as it's posted to YouTube, will not be... Sorry, the camera's here, not over there. I keep wanting to look over there. The... It's been one of those days. Um, video clips pieced together and full, not fully like things done. Like I wanted to show you putting the Andersons on. It's been a bad day. Not so bad. It just hasn't been good. Things keep happening. I'm dealing with um, neighbors and stuff. So let's just get into radio stuff. Um, hey. It's been quite a while since I've been on 10 meters in a mobile. But, uh, but I got down. So, I'm pretty sure this one will work. This is what I'm working on. I'm gonna get some an Take two, putting some Anderson connectors on this cord. And this should work in the uh, Radio Shock 10 meter, but gotta get Andersons on it first. Um, I wish this was a little bit heavier, but I think it's only a 25 watt radio, maybe 50 on high. I don't know, but this is the best I can do to get this on the air tonight, or to get this on the air. Um, and I don't have to drive it. Um, I know this will be fine for 25 watts. Um, and it should be fine for 50. Okay, back to... We got power. Yep, that's about as far as I've got so far, peeps. Oh, well. Oh, and I was able just to use the small... Uh, I didn't have to add any extension to that. Um, my, uh, my mess over here, actually the one reached. So, yay for me. All right. So there, hello, there it is. The HTX, I think is what the model number is, HTX 100, Radio Shack 10 meter radio. Uh, I probably butchered that, oh well if I did. It's actually um, feels very comfortable with my foot resting up against it as I sit here and drive. Thankfully I have a passenger that help me as I film. Anyways, all I'm going to have to worry about, I won't be worried about changing frequencies too much. Um, the uh, RIT is one of the knobs that's closest to me here, up on top I believe or something. I don't know the radio that well yet. And so if I have to do a little tuning in, uh, so be it. Alright. A short clip. Bye. So, I hold the camera in... Um, in landscape view, 99.9% .9 of the time. It is what it is, and this is what it is. The radio is literally mounted. See all my other radios? This one and that one. This one's mounted on the side because I don't have a lot more real estate. And I think I can put my 11 meter radio right there. Not like down here, but like top of this one. Um, yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. You know the saying? Yeah. Um, uh, I, <laughs> I uh, yeah. 48 years old, talked on a radio pretty much all my life, and I've only had my ham license for 13 of those years. You do the math. Okay. So, uh. Yeah. Anyways, KE7UUM. KE7UUM. Testing. One, two, three. KE7UUM. 2835. So, folks, I don't know how well this is showing up. I did make a couple 10 meter contacts tonight. <laughs> 
kind of cheating, you know. Um, get a hold of, yeah, right there. Mag mounts, so it's, you know, kind of what happens when they get slammed in a door so much. Um, and it's just, you know, a cheap 11 meter that actually wasn't tuned too far out when this loose connection right there wasn't giving me problems. I'm sure that I'm going to have a crap ton of ham operators say that um, I should have done a better job. I'm so sick and tired of that. Um, I'm not the typical ham. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got another mount. Here's my dual band, um, 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. i got another bracket like that. And actually, this was a CB bracket at one time. And uh, it, well, the hole got drilled out for this UHF mount that's on there now. I think I'm going to put another one on this side. I don't really care to put it on, stuff on the driver's side because of the um, drive throughs Not necessarily, you know, fast food. We try not to do that a whole lot in our family, but sometimes we do it. And... Uh, yeah, I can never forget my AMS oil stickers and the do not tread on me stuff. Okay, back to ham radio. So, what can I say? I love my marquee. I also have a, uh, which when I'm not towing, it'd be fine. I also have a uh, stinger with a 32-inch piece of pipe on it that I can mount a 102-inch whip on. Um, the other thing is the big mount to go up in the center of the roof. I'm just not sure about grounding and how I feel, excuse me, about that up there. Um, that would be the best for reception. Um, and 13.6 is a height limit and 13.6, it would still be under 13.6 if I put it up there. So just decisions. All right. I gonna get inside i gotta get some water my throat's throat's cracking so ke7 uum see y'all later last thing to add to this is that at, <laughs> when it's all said and done i ended up putting a bracket and a stainless steel what used to be a 102 inch whip on my car gotta work out the coax situation with it and then I'll be using that for the 10 meter. And I'll get it dialed in to where it's, it's right on the money on 28400.